DJ Who Kid. You know the last interview we did? When I showed you all those bunch of girls and you telling me what you'd I like know, to do with them? I actually went to um, Mera and I met one of them there. No! What's her name? A party with her. But, and then uh, I think she saw the interview probably after. And then she didn't call me, so. Okay. What's her name? Uh, the one that was in that, um, that TV show. Uh, uh, Alexandra Burke? Yeah. Oh, she's, okay, she's everywhere. But you know what? I have to do this every time I see you, so. You know what, I get angry, right, because I was, okay. I get angry with you, right, I tell you why, because I, when I listen to your mixtapes, right, at home, and I'm blasting out, and I'm, like, vibing, you start dropping drops, and all these guns start busting out, mm -hmm. so I have to duck and cover, I think someone's taking shots at me, like, what the hell's going on? No, no, no. Have, have you ever thought, have, have you thought, who can, who can, have you thought about having sound something like, <laughs> I actually use that on my radio show, <laughs> I use part sounds and, uh, any other sound on my radio show. Who can, I got tired of like shouting people out and, I, and I've heard, you know, over the years people just hate people talking. So I just keep it like, who kid? I got like uh, a Tarzan sound, I got the kids on there. <laughs> the kids is like, I had like 22 kids in the room. Yeah. Like, serious, I had them all go, yeah. So it depends on the artist, if they have like a fun song yeah. or something cool, but, you know. But I, I got tired, I'm not shouting out aunts anymore, uncle, you shout out to Uncle B. You know, I don't do that shit anymore. <laughs> Like what you doing in your spare time when in between interviews? Uh, I'm trying to enjoy this, the moisture in here. You know, the moisture air. I'm talking. I'm talking about right now, still, <laughs> <laughs> still and sparkling. It's not sparkling. It's still. <laughs> no, I'm talking about the the the, the shows that you like watching. Uh, right now, you know, I always watch Scooby Doo on my time on the uh, always. I ain't gonna lie, Scrappy Doo. Oh, he's got heart, but he he ain't hanging. Let me. Right, let's say the interview started, right? What was the first ever 50 Cent record you ever heard? Uh, I think Wangsta. Wangsta was the first record I ever heard. Oh, 50 Cent. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, nah, I can't be. Because I was get rich, I tried. Yeah, yeah, I'm bugging. Uh, nobody likes me. Nobody. Oh, nobody one. like. Okay. That's when he, when, that's when I first started getting like into 50 Cent records because he was going at Jaro. They had the, they had the historical beef. Yeah. The neighborhood. And then uh, only we knew because we were all yeah. like in the streets and stuff. So and when when he did nobody likes me, I couldn't you know even after you know he got shot and stuff like that, he still was coming out with songs. So he was already like a legend. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. So. Who's bright idea on Fifty Cent is the Future to name a track Who Kid and K Slay Shit? <laughs> I think that was Shaw Money XL. Oh, Shaw. He didn't know. He didn't know the name of the track, so he just put Who Kid and K Slay on it. What 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 does that mean when you have Who Kid and K Slay shit? That, what the <laughs> fuck does that mean? I'm I, th I think uh, Fifty Cent at at that time he was doing special freestyles for certain DJs. Okay. So he would put like our names. So I guess that one was for me and K Slay only. <laughs> But I, I just love the fact that it puts shit at the end of it, as if like... I guess he wanted to spice it up, you know, because when you take a shit, he's just like, mm, spicy. <laughs> so I guess, like, made it hotter, you know what I'm saying? Spicy shit with that, you know, the shit, and then it starts like, got My that... My shit is hot. Oh, your shit's hot? When I'm in the bathroom, this is, I'm getting grills in there. You got that heat coming off it? What? You got that heat coming off the shit? I'm like Japanese in there. <laughs> He still does that though. I say, I'd, I'd say he, he still does that show on it, right? Uh, well, no, you mean 50, you mean, or you mean, I was 50, talking about. He still does freestyles, but, you know, but every, every DJ gets them now, so he doesn't have to really promote himself. No, no. I was talking about Shaw Money because he still tends to do that still. Like, yeah, he still yeah, yeah. tends to look out for. He, for work, he works on, like, other artists. Like, I know he works with, like, Big Crit. Yeah. And then he's working on a, a new artist called uh, uh, Slim the Mobster. That's uh, oh, okay. Dr. Trey's artist. Yeah. Yeah, they, they both called me, like, literally two days ago on that. Oh, nice. So hopefully everything goes down. I should be quote unquote hosting, hanging with uh, Dr. Dre and oh wow, and blah blah blah. So Dr. Damn. Dre is against the mixtapes. 
Finally. Goddamn. Yeah, it's been a bit, it's been ages. Come on, man. Like, this is early 2000s. It's nearly a decade. I'm like, fucking 40. When is it? I'm going to die, man. You know, like, you're not the same but, but he's a doctor. He's a doctor, so he could yeah, possibly he revive you, right? I don't know. He might bring back to life. I mean, they'll bring back to life in that new video. Hopefully. Yep. He'll help me out. But other than that, it'll be, you know, I know him. I know Dr. Dre. So yeah. It'll be like, you know, an honor, and, you know, just to finally finish my mixtape career to do something with him. So, I don't know. My fingers are crossed. Talk to me about a memorable studio moment during the Power of the Dollar project. A memorable studio moment? Or oh, a couple. As many as you can. I need exclusives. Man, that was so long ago. I told you I was 40, right? I know, I know, I know. You're catching on, Luke. You're catching on now. I'm trying to... Damn. I think, uh... Let me see. I think when DMX came to the studio, it was crazy. Why? It was just like, you know, the Rough Riders at that time, and he came through just chill. And Did he bark when he walked in? Uh, I don't think so, but he wanted weed, though. <laughs> But they didn't, but they never come out? Or? No, it never came. I don't think they ever even came out. I don't know. I left, because, you know, when they're in the studio, they, they're in there forever. But I just was like, yo, DMX is here. Like, that shit was fucking ridiculous. At that time, yeah, he was at his height. What about, um, I'm going to take you even further, about 50 Cent of the Future? 50 Cent of the Future, uh, all I can remember was guns. It was like guns, guns, guns everywhere. We were doing that mixtape. It was like, it was a gun on the table, gun on the table. Draw a gun under the table, gun on me, but off the Yo, who can was strapped? No. Nah. <laughs> Everybody else was. It was vests everywhere. It was, it was just like studio and armory. It was like do the mixtape and then get ready for war. And it was, it was so funny because back then uh, 50 was still hustling. Yeah. So um, we all had like. You know, everybody was sweating 50 at that time. So whoever came to the studio that was allowed to come, it was at like Shamani's mansion. So it was, it was just like all these little cars outside. Like <laughs> I think I had, I think I had like I think I had Benz or whatever at that time, and uh, two other people that was there. They had like whatever Range Rover, Benzes, whatever, any kind of car car. But the only car that was shitty and, and fucked up was 50's car. It was like a van. It was a piece of shit van. That with no heat, matter of fact, I think it did have heat, there was no AC, <laughs> and he was like, and it'd be him, Yale, and Banks. They come through the studio and they all get in the shitty van, and they, ah. go, and they go back to Southside or wherever Pokemon's were, but he was hiding that. Yeah. But it was like, it was crazy, it was like all these exotic cars, but 50's car was like a piece of shit van. And then it broke down on the highway, he told me, and he left it. And I was like, yeah, we could have sold that, we could put that shitty van on it. Like that van was like, it went to war, like, Tell it from all the other nice cars. Yeah, it was fucking ridiculous, but uh, but those are, I mean, he'll tell you that story too. Those, those were the days, and that's why he just like wastes like he splurges every time he has money, like he just goes crazy. And you see the shit he has now. Yeah. From a, a, a piece of shit van to to Mike Tyson's mansion that he's trying to sell. Man, he has like man, I don't know, man. But he bought a new mansion though. He has yeah. a new mansion. What's been the highlight of your career, kid? Highlight of my career? Yeah, man. I don't know, man. I like corny. My highlights are kind of corny because, you know, like, you know, I've hung out with, like, you know, like Prince of Monaco is like my boy. You know, I met, uh, you know, I don't know, with uh, Nelson Mandela. I met Michael Jackson. I mean, I was hanging with Stevie Wonder in LA the other day. I thought that was crazy. Big. The hell? He's dancing six foot seven, you know. And then, he, to Wayne, six foot seven? To Wayne, because I, I was like, you know, I got, like, you know, happy birthday. You know, I got your record, but ain't nobody's birthday in here, so. I was like, want me to play for you? He's like, nah, man, play that six for seven. I was like, huh? What are you talking about? I was like, nah, play that Lil Wayne stuff, man. I was like, oh, shit, serious? I played it like three times. He was like, that was, he was going crazy. I was like, yo, if you want to, he's dancing at fucking six for seven. And then, and then Jamie Foxx comes in. Yeah. It was his party. I was eating. 
And then he was like, play that shit like 30. I played like 30 <laughs> fucking times. Now, that's not even an exaggeration, like 30 times. And it was just a classic moment. And then Jamie Foxx actually cried too. He cried? Why? Because uh, there was a piano in the middle of the event, and then I asked, uh, you know, the security guard to ask uh, Stevie would he perform for Jamie Foxx? Because that's like his hero. Because, you know, he did, uh, you know, uh, what was that movie? He did? Right. He did your race. So it was, it was just like a fucking. They like, took him back. Moment. I got it on video too. Like, I filmed a little bit of it, and he's like, Ugh. like I took a far twit pic to him crying. <laughs> But You're he, evil, bro. You're he evil. Could, like, he couldn't believe, he couldn't believe that, um, that you know, like he performed for him. He performed for like a good 20, 30 minutes. Stevie won like a free, free perform. Everybody had the cameras. People were like bugging out. Like, that's amazing. But that's Stevie Wonder. He's a, he's a, he's a legend. Yeah. Let, let's take this conversation just to the side now. Are there any hip hop journalists or personalities that who kid wants to get next to? Like you know what I'm saying? Like you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You mean like to Pizzle? To Pizzle. Uh, to Bukaki them and all that. I've always, I don't know. Whew. Is there somebody in hip hop I always wanted? Damn, I should have just messed with. I don't know why I didn't mess with um, Nicki Minaj back in the days. You should, you should have dealt with that, man. You, you, you were slipping on that. Well, oh well. Uh, There's still time. Trying to see who's out there that would want to feed my moisture. Yeah, it's a family show. You can't, you can't really do that. Because I, I know that I want to see, like, you know, because there's a lot of guys like Angela Yee, and she's cute. I mean, she doesn't want to fuck me because she knows I fuck like two thousand girls. Okay, she she got some standards. She's fucked like a thousand guys, so it doesn't really man, it doesn't really balance out. So I gotta wait till she's a thousand up, and then we combine all okay. our moistures, and then this new disease comes up. But there's one girl I can tell you I did fuck in the UK. Go on. We're 50. Uh, it's going very well. Uh, we're upgrading uh, some other technical stuff on the site. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm getting like more Hollywood uh, content mm -hmm. to go more forward into the direction of it. Yeah. So uh, starting like uh, I think next next month we're gonna have like more Hollywood based content. Okay. I'm like I'm getting like so many Hollywood interviews now. It's just piling up like. Yeah, 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 I yeah, yeah. What's yeah. going on? I just had like. Uh, no, I just did a Bruce Willis freestyle. It's gonna come on soon. A Bruce Willis freestyle. Uh, die hard, like some die hard shit. But he was free going in, but we had to like, he wanted like, like, like girls to be hard. I was like, yo, I ain't got no hard chicks in the video. <laughs> like, I called Olivia, but she was in the middle. Oh, she wasn't there yet. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> but uh, other than that, I'm a kid. I love her. You know, she's. We all know that you love it, kid. Yeah. We, we, we all know this. We all know this. Yeah, 50 put you out there on that one. Yeah, yeah. Well, that it was her feet that was loving me. It was in her mouth. You know ah, see, I like it. So I it like was it. a very, like, you know, safe sex. <laughs> you can't really get that from feet. I don't think. No, you can't get it. Unless they've got some, like, mad bunions or something. Yeah.